Hello everyone, MC Tamer here with a, well I guess not really a video tutorial so much as a video tips and tricks uh, on dealing with UV mapping for Blender. Now full disclosure, I am not an expert in Blender. I don't know how to model my own creations. All I know how to do is load up things that other people have made, cut them up, and bash them back together in new ways. So this is not going to be uh, like the go-to gospel on UV mapping, but it's something that I picked up uh, along the way and has helped me get by uh, so far. So I want to share it with you in case it helps you out. So hopefully you've already watched my uh, NIF Bashed Weapons tutorial, in which case you should already have uh, all of these tools that you're going to need to follow this video. Uh, if not, please pause the uh, the video and check out my NIF Bashed Weapons tutorial. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to go uh, over it in depth here again, but basically you're going to need uh, Blender, Python, NIF Scope, and some kind of utility for extracting files from uh, Bethesda archives. So what I'm going to show you today is basically how to change which part of a texture shows up on which face of a mesh. Now that may sound a little bit confusing so let me let me demonstrate what I mean. This is the base game uh, Chinese assault rifle from Fallout 3. Now if we take a closer look here at the the charging handle you'll notice that it's it's just black. It's it's not really textured. Obviously, the texture artist was uh, overworked and underpaid and forgot to add the texture that has to go on this part of the uh, on this part of the mesh. Now, what we could do is uh, load up the weapons texture in uh, an image editor like Photoshop or GIMP or whatever, and uh, add a texture for this section, but. Uh, another way we can do it is by changing which part of uh, this texture is applied to these faces on the on the charging handle. So the first thing we're going to want to do is extract the the texture that we're going to be working with from the archive. Uh, I went over this in the in the NIF Bash tutorial. I'm just going to go over it really quickly now. Uh, what we can do is click on the, the, the piece that we want to retexture and then uh, expand these uh, these nodes until we find which texture file the, uh, the that part of the mesh uses. So we can copy this and then open up our archive extraction tool and load the textures uh, archive. Now New Vegas has two of them, uh, te falloutTextures.bsa and falloutTextures2.bsa. If you can't find the texture in one, it'll it'll show up in the other. So I'll paste assault right. Okay, so it wasn't in this one. So let's tr look over here. Now there are two versions. You have the uh, the lower resolution assault rifle 01.dds and you have the higher resolution uh, first person assault rifle 01.dds. It doesn't really matter uh, which one you choose. The, um, the mesh will automatically uh, will automatically scale uh, the texture, like apply the texture uh, to, to itself in the same way. So whichever one you choose, uh, it'll, it'll work out the same. I'm using the first person uh, one because it's clearer and it's easier for me to see all the bits and pieces. Now I've already extracted it to my work folder, but uh, what you need to do is just click extract and then navigate to your to your work folder and then click save and uh, that's all you've got to do. So now that we have our texture extracted we can fire up Blender and load the, uh, the, the NIF. Now I already have it in my working folder here, so I don't have to extract it. But if you if you need to find uh, the mesh that you're going to work with 
you do the same thing as you did with the texture, just open up uh, the fallout meshes.bsa and uh, look for the mesh in there. Okay, now sometimes the uh, the mesh will appear black like this. Uh, I'm not quite sure why. I think it has something to do with the material properties of the mesh. But uh, if you want to fix this so, so that you can see what you're doing, all you have to do is um, highlight the piece that is black, press tab to enter edit mode, press tab again to exit it without making any changes, and it should appear in this uh, in this gray uh way so that you can you, you can see what you're doing. Now we want to select our charging handle, enter edit mode by pressing tab and make sure all the all the faces are selected. You can either uh, if it's not selected then you can press A to select them all and then uh, I'm gonna change here so that I'm working with faces and then what you're going to want to do is hover your mouse, your mouse cursor here right in the, the middle of these, where the split is between these two panes. Right click and choose split area. And then move your cursor up so that it splits the, uh, the top pane in two. We want to leave the bottom one, uh, as is. But now you'll see that I have split the, the window in two. And then we're going to come down here to this uh, window type icon and click on it and choose UV slash image editor. Then we're going to click on image, open, and then find where you extracted your uh, texture from the archive. Select it and then click open image. Now, as you can see here, we still have our faces selected in this window. And here, you'll see those same faces unwrapped on this texture. To select them, you can press B and then click and drag to choose uh, the faces that you want to work with. Or you can press A to select everything or A again to deselect. Now I just want to work with these one by one so what I'm gonna do is press B then click and drag to select only the faces on this part of the mesh and then you can use the um, you can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out and to scroll you press and hold the shift key left shift then press and hold the middle mouse button or the mouse wheel in my case and then you can just drag your view around so that you can see more clearly uh, what you're doing. And then uh, to move this, you press G to grab all of these faces, and then you can just move your mouse around to, uh, to place it where you want. Now there are some, quite a few good options here. I'm, I'm thinking this, uh, this circle here might be a good one. So I'm moving it out of this, uh, this black untextured area onto, uh, a part that actually has some texture on it. If you want to scale it to make it fit better, you can press the S key for scale and just move your mouse in and out to change the size. And then when it's the size that you want, just click it and it'll stay that way. Uh, but I think it, this was actually pretty good for me so I think I'm gonna leave it uh, leave it as is and then I'm gonna press a to deselect it and then I'm gonna select uh, all of these faces here with uh, the B key then click and drag to select all these faces and then press the G key to grab them and move them around now I have to figure out where I'm going to put this, so I'm just going to put this down for now and uh, take a look around and see if I can find a suitable location. I think this section here might be good. So press the G key, move it, and then I'm going to scale it down a little bit.
Uh, maybe a little bit larger wouldn't hurt. Okay, that seems good. And uh, now back in this window, if you want to see uh, what what it looks like textured, you can press Alt Z and uh, press A to deselect the faces. And this is what it's going to look like uh, with the the texture uh, re remapped. Now, if you want to go back, you can. Uh, Press Alt Z again to return it to the this normal view, and yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So I can press A to deselect, and then I'm just gonna I'm gonna close this window. So what I what I'm gonna do is join areas. So uh, put your mouse in the in the split between these two windows. Right click and then choose Join Area. And then I'm going to merge the 3D view uh, window with the texture window. So now uh, I'm, I've closed that window. Press Tab to exit uh, edit mode. Press A to deselect. A again to select all of the pieces of the mesh. And then export it as a new NIF file. So Chinese assault rifle charging handle fix. Export. OK. And then just wait for it to finish exporting. When it's done exporting, we can find uh, our newly created NIF and open it up in NIF scope. And now we can see that the charging handle has a texture on it. Now, uh, Blender tends to kind of uh, mess around with the, the the materials and the texture maps of uh, re-exported NIF files. So what I like to do is actually just uh, copy and paste over the part that I changed over the base game model and then resave that as, uh, as a new NIF. So here what we're going to do is... Um, I also went over this in my uh, in more detail in my NIF bashed weapons tutorial. So uh, if this if I'm moving too fast for you, um, you can look and look in that video uh, to to see to see um, how it's done in more detail. But in any case, we want to copy the uh, the tri strips data. Want to go block, right click. Uh, so right click on my tri strips data, block, copy. And then navigate back to our uh, base game mesh. Select the charging handle. Right click on the Nye Tri Strips data. Block and paste over. And that will uh, that will remap the texture to the one that we just the changes that we just made. And then now you can save as, and then uh, save as a new NIF. Now we're not limited to only using the texture that uh, the base weapon that we that we're trying to fix. We're not. We don't have to use uh, the same texture here. What we can do is actually um, use, if we wanted, for instance, to um, to make this look like the charging handle from the the 22 SMG, uh, we can extract that uh, that texture and remap this onto a different texture that isn't the Chinese assault rifle, if we wanted to. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. We're going to go back into Blender and basically repeat the process except this time we're going to click image open and we're going to choose the the new texture that we're working with so in this case the the 22 SMG texture 
and then just repeat the process. Use uh, the B key, click and drag to select your faces, G to move them around, Okay, I think this is this should be good. A to deselect. Then select the round face. G to grab and move it where you want. I think I'm going to scale this down just a little bit. And then now I'm just going to check what that looks like by pressing Alt Z. All right, looks good to me. So now I'm going to close the texture window. and export this as a new NIF. Charging handle fix 22 SMG. So now when it's done exporting, we can open this up in NIF scope. And you're going to notice here that it's still using the uh, assault rifle, the Chinese assault rifle texture, and that's why it looks funny. Um, we have to change the texture path, because here it's still using the assault rifle texture. So we have to eventually we have to change this. But first, what I like to do is, again, copy and paste this uh, over the, the base game mesh. Lock, paste over, and then we can expand the texture map, and then change this to the 22 SMG texture. Now, I can't remember exactly what the texture path is, so I'm probably going to have to load up the base game 22 SMG, and just double check. I'm going to copy this. Okay, actually, I can close this window. Don't need this one, and I don't need this one. Okay, so this is what I was working with. Select the charging handle, and then double click, delete, paste. Copy, delete, and paste. And there we have it. It's changed to use a texture that isn't the same texture as the base gun. This is useful if the, the thing that you're trying to map is not, does not have anything really corresponding to the, um, to the base game mesh. Like for instance, if there wasn't, uh, any round surfaces on the on the, the the base game mesh then you know you can't really uh you can't really map it in in a way that would look good so you may have to choose a different uh a different texture to to have that has the pieces that you want so this is just another way of doing that so that concludes this tips and tricks video uh, i hope it was helpful to you if you have any questions, uh, feel free to find me on uh, nexusmods.com. I'll leave a link to my profile page on the uh, in the video description below, and uh, you can send me a message or leave a comment on any of my other mod pages. I don't check YouTube comments, so uh, don't be surprised if you leave a comment and I don't get back to you. Nexus Mods is a much better choice. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, happy modding!